to spend a fortune on sunglasses, right? Only to misplace them or get them scratched within just weeks. Well, if your sunglasses need a fun and protective new home, Orly is on the case. On the case. Yeah. I'm a real fan of that one. <laughs> um, Cameron Matheson, any pair of sunglasses I buy, yep. I then proceed to ruin or lose. Well, this Are is you why like me? I am indeed <laughs> like you, and it's, it's a problem. It's super annoying. But not anymore. Not anymore, because having a cool case, I just feel like I won't lose it, because the energy I put into making something cool and custom and special is even more reason for me to keep my eye on it, not lose it. I know exactly which one's mine. I can spot it across the room, and it looks cool. This is what I'm, I'm into it. you guys. This is awesome. Okay, yeah. let's get started. We're going to make a couple different versions yeah. of this, starting with our, uh, well, our sort of circular version, which turns into half circle. Exactly. So basically, if you want to do anything that feels kind of like summer fruit, so like a citrus slice or a watermelon slice, like this one here, it's going to start with a complete circle. Now, to do the circle, use anything around your house that's a circle that you can use as a shape. Use right. a plate. Yep. We had these here, um, which are, you know, the embroidery hoops I grabbed from the craft room, a bowl, a vase, whatever you want. What you will need for the watermelon, though, is two different sizes. And what I would recommend doing, you can see here, I cut out my green, and this was this exact size right there. Then I cut another one out of pink, and I just trimmed it off. So once I had a perfectly even one, instead of trying to find the right bowl or the right shape that was the exact right size, I just took my fabric scissors and I trimmed off like an inch. That's impressive. And then it gives me just an inch smaller. There you go. You know what I mean? It's a little easier than looking for multiple pieces. Absolutely. Now, we're gonna talk a little bit through, through all of these, you can fabric glue them, hand sew them, or machine sew them, depending on your own skill set. So this really works for anyone. If you can fabric glue, why would you want to sew I know. it? Like, I'm just I know. Like, is it because of the detail in the stitch? Is well, that why you'd want to do it? The detail in the You're stitch. You're talking to a guy who doesn't, you know. No, it. absolutely. It's a great question, actually, because I will say, since I do sew, sometimes things are easier to just, oh, thank you. Nice with the assist there, yeah, Cameron. Yeah, just making sure you're... Um, sometimes I think it's actually easier to just go ahead and sew it because I, I do sew so often sure. and my machine's always plugged in and threaded, so it's a really easy thing to okay. do. Right. Um, but if not, then fabric glue is a great way to go. Okay. So now we're just going to lay this in the middle. If you were sewing this, though, you would want to make sure to connect all of your pieces before you close it up. So, like, for example, on this one here, the... All of the materials, the clouds, the sun, the grass, you want to do that when it's open because if I were to sew this, I would be sewing through both layers, closing it up. Right, exactly. Same with this, obviously. If I wanted to sew these two lines together, I would end up closing it and it wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't be as big. Exactly. So you sew it in this version and okay. then you fold and then you're not sewing it all closed. Precisely. Okay, very good. All right. Very nice. Now, now we, that's what we do. We fold it. We fold point. it. Okay, good. So now you just fold it right in half, get rid of anything that's in your way here. And at this point, again, Sew it or fabric glue. Did we talk about the fact that we've got to make sure that we're we got a size of the circle, a size of the oh. fold that's going to actually fit the sunglasses that we own? We didn't. And you know what? When we move on to the rectangular one, we'll talk about that. That's okay. a great point that I almost totally forgot. So thank you. Okay, good. So now, once I've added my glue, this is when I really recommend grabbing like some clothes pins or some binder clips because it's going to want to open on you because the felt can be kind of stiff and it just doesn't want to stay in this position until it's dried. So on all of your important corners, you want to do it, and of course, leave your top open so you can get those sunglasses in. At this point, we would just add on some of these little crystals or you could use felt to create our little seeds. So fun. Right? Really, so, really fun. And you're right, really unique, so you know exactly which ones, which glasses are whose. Yes, precisely. Uh, so that's one great version. Now we're going to move on to the rectangular version. Yes, okay. and I would love it um, if you would do the cutting on this because we're going to use a rotary and it's just incredibly satisfying. I like for you to do the satisfying. And things. because it's much harder and you want me to do the hard stuff. That's I understand, Orly. <laughs> um, okay, so what you were talking about with the shape, when you are creating your shape, if you could fold this yeah, over, okay. try to see, this obviously, the sunglasses actually take up a little bit right. of space, um, not only that? flat but wide, so you want to make sure you have enough, so use your sunglasses as a guide. How's that? Once, it's perfect. Once okay. you know what that is, now if you could line up the ruler right to yeah. that edge and cut off that excess, sure. you could do it with fabric scissors, um, and if you're going to do it with fabric scissors, just draw a line with the ruler, and then cut, so yeah, pop, open it up. There you go. Yeah. And now just uh, the most satisfying. It really is. It should be 
You know what, I could just do that for the rest of the segment. Right? I know, we should just do that. Boom. Now, at this point, we're gonna, again, leave it open, and this is when you could do your sun. I added the clouds, and you can see I have a straight edge on the cloud because it's on the edge there. And one cool tip with the grass that I did, oops, that goes this way. Once you cut your grass, you can see this is just felt. I know this is another satisfying thing. Take the ends, put your finger down where you don't want it to pull past, and pull, and it just sort of, phrase it out so it looks almost like the grass is all, yeah, see there how it's like frayed and fluffy, it's not those straight lines. By pulling on the ends of the felt, it just creates this really nice fringy look and you end up with more soft grass. Then we would just add I love add those this. tips that you guys give for that, okay great. Yeah, so it's fine. You would do this, glue everything on, and then again, we would just glue the side or so, the side and the bottom down. Obviously, I edged this with another layer of white, and you can see I did a zigzag stitch, but again, the zigzag stitch comes before you close it. This so that you so don't genius. close it up. And I know, I mean, I love this, and I want to point this out really quickly. I mean, imagine you're driving your car. I wear my sunglasses in my car a yep. lot. You got that little space between the center console and your seat. You never know where to put your sunglasses. Yes. You just pop this right there. It sits up a little bit. Like you know your sunglasses are right there. <gasps> I got I'm it all so figured out. That. You are so good, Orly. Full <laughs> instructions. Head over to HallmarkChannel.com, everybody. Coming up next.